everybody. We're getting ready to do a chapter 12, Transformations and Symmetry of SA, for SAT Math Level 2 Preparation. And 12, section 12, your notebook will have 14 points in your notebook. And you will have 18 points to so go on to your class worksheet, have those out. Part 1 of Transformation and Symmetry, Translations, Dilations, and Reflections. Name date period students on your uh, classwork sheet. Due date here for onlineers, homeschoolers. And let's go right into page one of section 12 in your notebook. The three types of transformations in the coordinate plane are translations, stretches, shrinks, and reflections. Translation preserves the shape of a graph, only moving it around the coordinate plane. Translation is accomplished by addition. Changing the scale, meaning stretching and shrinkage, can change the shape of a graph. This is accomplished by multiplication. And then finally, reflection preserves the shape and size of a graph, but changes its orientation. Reflection is accomplished by negation. Suppose y equals f of x defines any function. Uh, y equals f of x plus k translates y equals f of x k units vertically up if k is greater than 0, down if k is less than 0. Then y equals f of x minus h translates y equals f of x h units horizontally, right if h is greater than 0, and left if h is less than 0. So let's get into an example here of this. So suppose y equals f of x equals e of x. Describe the graph of y equals e, e to the x plus 3. So for that one, in this example, k equals 3. So e to the x plus 3 equals f of x plus 3 here, as shown in the figures below. So here's y equals e to the x. And then here is y equals e to the x plus 3. So here's e to the x, here's e to the x plus 3. We go up 3 units on that graph. So the graph of y equals e to the x plus 3 is 3, three units above the corresponding graph. Here it's about here, so it goes up 3. On the graph of y equals e to the x. Suppose, for b here, suppose y equals x squared. Describe the graph of y equals x plus 2 quantity squared. So in this example, h equals negative 2 up here. Here's our h. And so x plus 2 quantity squared equals f of x plus 2, as shown in the figures below. So here's uh, y equals x squared. And then here is y equals x plus 2 quantity squared. So we move to the left two units like that. So the graph of y equals quantity x plus 2 squared is two units to the left of the corresponding, uh, corresponding point on the graph of y equals x. So again, y equals a, a f of x stretches shrinks f of x vertically by a factor of absolute value of a if absolute value of a is less than 1 times absolute value of a is less than 1. So it's greater than, if a is greater than 1, <clears throat> uh, then uh, this, this would be how the expression would look here. Absolute value of a is less than 1. And then y equals f of ax shrinks, stretches f of x horizontally by a factor of 1 over a if absolute value of a is greater than 1 and the absolute value of a is less than 1. <clears throat> so what does that mean? 
we'll find out. We'll have an example of that. And also y equals the negative of f of x reflects y equals f of x about the x-axis. The reflection is vertical when well, we have this situation here. A negation of this will be a vertical reflection. And then y equals f of negative x reflects y equals f of x about the y-axis. This would be the reflection would be horizontal in this situation here. And we'll have examples of that as well. <clears throat> Translation, stretching, shrinking, and reflections can be combined to produce functions. Vertical transformations occur when adding, multiplying, or negating takes place after the function is applied, that is to y. The order in which multiple vertical transformations are executed does not matter. So let's get into one of these examples here. Suppose uh, y, y equals x minus 1. Describe the graph of y equals 3 times x minus 1. So in this example here, absolute value a equals 3. So 3 times x plus 1, 3 times x plus 1, equals 3 times f of x. So this is x minus 1 here. For this is x minus 1 up here. Uh, so um, uh, as shown in the graphs below, for x equals 1.5, the y-coordinate of each point on the graph of y equals 3 times x minus 1 is 3 times the y-coordinate of the corresponding point on the graph of y equals uh, x minus 1. So what we do here is we're increasing the slope and we're also increasing uh, the number here of the uh, for the y-intercept which is negative 3. So this would be that this graph here changes from this to this. So we've multiplied um, 3 times uh, this function here, we multiplied it by 3, and this is what happens to it. So suppose, suppose y equals x cubed. Describe the graph of y equals uh, quantity 1 half x cubed. So in that situation, here is y equals x cubed here, and here is a point here, x equals 0.9 right there. y would equal 0.729 at that point. So in this example, uh, absolute value a equals 1 half, as shown in the graphs below. For y equals uh, 0.729, x coordinate of each point on the graph of y equals quantity 1 half x cubed is 2 times the x-coordinate of the corresponding point on the graph of y equals x cubed. So here is um, 1 half x quantity cubed. So what it does, it flattens this out here on the origin. It flattens the graph out there. x equals 1.8, which is here, then 0.729. So what happens here, um, uh, this this doubles here, and it goes from 0.9 here to 1.8. So this this doubles the amount of uh, direction that goes to the right at the same point here on the y-axis, 0.729 when x equals 1.8. So it it flattens the curve out is what it does. When you go from here to here, you flatten your curve out. So E here, suppose y equals natural log x. Describe the graphs of y equals negative natural log x and y equals the natural log of negative x. So, as shown in the graphs below, y, the graph of y equals negative natural log x. Here is natural log x here. And then the negative of natural log x is a reflection here in the x-axis. So as shown in the graph below, the graph of y equals na a negative natural log x is a reflection of the graph of y equals natural log x. 
about the x-axis and the graph of y equals natural log of negative x. Now, th this kind of goes in a completely different direction here. Uh, is a reflection about the y-axis. So we, we start from here and then we go back this way here. So this is a reflection in the y-axis here. And then this is a reflection in the x-axis. <clears throat> Horizontal transformations occur when adding, multiplying, and negating takes place before the function is applied, that is to uh, 2x. Unless an order of doing transformations is specified, these transformations must be taken in the following order, reflect, change, the scale, then translate. Moreover, the scale factor, absolute value A, must be factored out of a translation. So let's try one of those. <clears throat> Suppose y equals f of x. Use words to describe the transformation y equals f of quantity uh, negative ax plus b. Observe that all these transformations are horizontal. First, we have to write uh, negative ax plus b as negative a times uh, quantity x minus b over a. The x-coordinate of a point x, y on the graph of y equals f of x goes through the following sequ sequence of transformations reflected about the y-axis, horizontally shrunk by a factor of, of a or stretched by a factor of 1 over a, and translated b over a to the right. So these are kinds of the machinations that we can uh, stretch and translate and reflect. And I have packets. Students, if you need, if you feel like you need review in this, then I can provide you packets for that for that as well. Suppose y equals sine x. Describe the sequence of transformations to get the graph of y equals sine multiply by quantity negative 2x plus 1. So to observe that all transformations are horizontal. Up here, this is a horizontal transformation. Write the function as y equals the sine of negative 2 times x minus 1 over 2. Consider the point 4 and negative 0. Uh, uh, 0.7568 on the graph of y equals sine x. First, reflect this point about the y-axis so that we have negative 4 and then negative 0.7568. Then shrink by a factor of 2, and when you do that, you end up with negative 2 and then uh, negative uh, 7, uh, 0.7568. Then translate one-half units to the right. <clears throat> so when we translate one half units to the right, this becomes negative 1.5. And then again, we still keep the same y coordinate here, uh, negative uh, 0.7568. And then y1, in this case, we equal sine x, and y2 equals sine uh, multiplied by the quantity negative 2x plus 1. So this would be your plot. This would be on your uh, y equals screen and your graphing calculator. Put that in and then hit graph and you should see that transformation. <clears throat> and the table. So here again, uh, showing the points of uh, 4, negative 7.568 for y1, and then negative 1.5 and negative 7.568 for y2 <clears throat> so that would be your transform that that would be your table shot there of what that would look like reflections about the x and y axes represent two types of symmetry in a graph symmetry through the origin is a third type of graphical symmetry a graph defined by an equation in x and y is symmetrical with the 
respect to the x-axis of replacing x by negative x preserves the equation and the y-axis of replacing y by negative y preserves the equation and the origin of replacing x and y by negative x and, and negative y respectively preserves the equation. So these symmetries are defined for functions as follows. Symmetry about the y-axis, here's an example of that, f of x equals the f of negative x for all x. Symmetry about the x-axis would be f of x equals the negative f of x for all x. And then symmetry about the origin would be the uh, f of x equals the negative of f of negative x for all x. As defined previously, functions that are symmetric about the y-axis are even functions, and those that are symmetric about the origin are odd functions. <clears throat> Let's get an example here. Uh, H discusses the symmetry of f of x equals cosine x. Since cosine x equals cosine of negative x, cosine is symmetric about the y-axis, making it an even function. However, since cosine x does not equal negative cosine x and cosine of negative x does not equal negative cosine x, the cosine uh, function is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis or the origin. <clears throat> I, discuss the symmetry of x squared plus xy plus y squared equals zero. If you substitute negative x for x or negative y for y, but not both, the equation becomes x squared minus xy plus y squared equals zero, which does not preserve the equation. You have a big change here because of this sign. Therefore, the graph is not symmetrical with respect to the axes. <clears throat> However, if you substitute both negative x for x and negative y for y, the equation is preserved, so the equation is symmetric about the origin. So that would be the, a quick answer to that. And again, I have uh, packets that I can provide for a review on this uh, subject matter of translations and odd and even uh, functions etc contact me for that and that is uh, lesson 12 uh, sat math level 2 prep enemy powerpoint math video at all.com for questions or course materials thank you very much